What, what the Washington Declaration does is gives us a consultation mechanism uh, to talk about extended deterrence needs, should they be appropriate, with our South Korean allies. That's brand new and that's a big deal. We haven't had that in place before. Uh, now, it doesn't change the fact that we still want to see the denuclearization of the peninsula. It doesn't change the fact that we have continued to make an offer to Pyongyang to sit down with us without preconditions to talk about that denuclearization. Uh, and yet they have uh, uh, refused to accept that offer. We're going to continue to look for ways, short of diplomacy, to make sure that we can defend ourselves and our Korean allies on that peninsula and in the region. And one of the things that the president talked about today was the potential port visits now of ballistic missile submarines uh, to, to South Korea. So we'll start working on that. That shows uh, that we're willing to continue to apply a broad spectrum of military capabilities to the defense of the peninsula. The regime in Pyongyang continues to try to advance their capabilities across a whole wide sweep of capabilities, and that includes, as you rightly noted, uh, cyberspace. We're monitoring that. We're aware of that, which is another reason why it was so important for President Biden uh, to have that discussion with President Yoon today about increasing cyber cooperation. You heard the president say uh, uh, himself today, this is not about China. This is about our treaty commitments to South Korea uh, and our desire to see the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. China has influence in Pyongyang, and we have urged them to use that influence in Pyongyang uh, to stop the provocative behavior out of uh, the DPRK, uh, to help us uh, implement and effect sanctions hold them accountable uh, through international sanctions through the UN. Um, and th that's what we would prefer China to do.